Um, I think that's uh, uh, that's a great question, though I differ from the perspective of saying that in this current scenario, I think uh, the key drivers of performance uh, across uh, all economies should be actually uh, alike. They should be similar to uh, to uh, the other. Um, uh, though I get the intent in your asking the question that this economic scenario might uh, sort of eliminate the non-performer or even the average performer a little faster and quicker than uh, say a better uh, economic uh, environment would. Um, having said which, I think um, the key drivers of performance uh, always uh, remain, you know, are, are clubbed around uh, intrinsic engagement, which is an individual's own factor of engagement. Um, how they wish to remain motivated, how they wish to remain engaged, and how they wish to put uh, their best foot forward, uh, irrespective of the uh, irrespective of the environment around them. And I think that's that's very critical because uh, even. Um, Better than average performers and good performers may get demotivated in a uh, in a negative uh, economic scenario because the kind of monetary rewards that they might be accustomed to otherwise may not be forthcoming and corporate prof profitability might not be as high as it would be otherwise. So the first element to uh, performance is the individual's own uh, intrinsic engagement. Um, and I think. Uh, as an extrinsic uh, driver for performance, uh, I would look at sharply differentiated rewards and compensation uh, for uh, the high performers. Because the ability to uh, reward everybody at the same pace or at a similar you know, compensation platform uh, should not uh, get engaged within the organization at a time when they're uh, struggling to remain competitive or uh, at a time when the macroeconomic factors are not uh, are not very favorable. Uh, so therefore sharply differentiated uh, compensation is something that the organization should extend to its top performers uh, in order to uh, make sure that there is um, there is an equitable uh, reward uh, you know skewed in their favor. Uh, I think uh, the third uh, key driver for performance uh, in a negative uh, environment should actually center around encouraging learning and growth uh, so that you um, so that an organization um, does not uh, create an environment of uh, uh, disengagement or uh, disinterest for the larger uh, number of people. Most organizations tend to look at um, uh, learning and growth uh, uh, in fact a host of organizations tend to look at learning and growth as an expense rather than an investment. So it's not a cost, it is an investment that the organization needs to make because you know this is going to repay uh, the organization when the economy is better and when uh, you know the solid citizen who has been performing uh, has many more avenues. So this becomes, uh, this becomes a time uh, for the organization to have a, a policy and a program in place in order to encourage the high performer and to create an environment which is uh, one of retention even when the environment improves.